Well, after a clear night tonight, we're looking at some increase in cloud cover tomorrow afternoon and for some of us, some snow pausing future cast tonight at midnight. You can see we're in the clear as we head into the morning hours. Most of us still in the clear. Take the sunglasses tomorrow morning before you drive off to work, but as you head into the evening hours, uh, some folks traveling northwest of Midland and Bay City will run into snow and the snow will try to move to the southeast, but not really have a whole lot of success in doing so. The southern end of this area of snow kind of peters on out, falls apart. We still have the chance of seeing a dusting to a half inch in some areas north of the Tri-Cities and up in the Thumb too, but most of us just looking at uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies by tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. We'll watch for an Alberta Clipper on Thursday night into Friday morning, bringing more snow into the area. So that's something we'll keep you posted on at this point. Uh, that snow looks pretty light as well. Tonight's low five below zero. So another frigid night out there. For the most part, the winds will be pretty light, but at times you may see a wind gust up to five or 10 miles an hour out of the south. That will give us wind chills as cold as 15 degrees below zero at times. Tomorrow's high up to 21, still colder than average, but at least some improvement over what we had during the day on Tuesday when most of us were stuck in the middle teens. And we warm up even further on Thursday with the high temperature getting up to around 29 degrees ahead of that cold front, that Alberta Clipper coming on through, dragging that cold front uh, right to the east of us on Friday. That's Valentine's Day, of course. So we'll have a few lingering flurries or snow showers on Friday morning. On Friday afternoon, though, we dry out that high, a little bit colder behind the front, 26 degrees. And then we drop to 4 degrees on Friday night. But that's the coldest night uh, besides tonight out of the next seven you can see that uh, temperatures recover from their 20s and even 30s for highs by Sunday and Monday. Lows in the teens for the most part. Highs up to freezing on Monday and pretty close to it again on Tuesday with mostly sunny skies.